hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to explain about how to fix flickering black boxes on the invisible enemies in elden ring i'll explain the few methods here please follow the instruction in this video i'll explain the step by step process please keep watching this video for the first fixing method is graphic settings this is problem most cases related to your graphics card resources and game settings open up elden ring and navigate to your graphing settings session Make sure to change your screen mode to full screen. To get the highest FPS below, you will want to use your native monitor resolution. The auto detect best rendering settings should be enabled as this will enable the game to change some settings according to your in-game performance. If you feel like these settings are set too high, then you can manually reduce them a bit later and set the overall quality settings according to the your system performance. Low end PC should set this is low. Here I explain advanced graphics settings. Navigate to your advanced graphics settings. I will set those for low and mid to end PCs. PCs. If you are using the high end PC, then you feel free to change some of these settings along the way. Set the texture quality to low or medium. I will this is to medium as it will run fine for my PC. Set anti anti aliasing quality to low to ssao to medium disable depth of field and motion blur motion blur will have no impact on your performance but most users prefer to disable this graphic option reduce your shadow quality to low lighting quality to medium effects quality to medium volumetric quality to low reflection quality to low as well as the water surface quality and shader quality lastly set the global illumination quality and grass quality settings to medium here i'll explain xbox game bar overlay if you want to preview your cpu and gpu utilization within a game then i suggest using in a built-in xbox game bar overlay when using the shortcut windows key plus g you will be able to pin the performance window anywhere on your screen and using the shortcut again it will stay on your mind screen you can preview your cpu and gpu utilization in present as well as your vrm and ram usage here i'll explain task manager after applying your changes you can close the cream and open your task manager in order to reduce the cpu utilization from the programs i suggest you to some programs from running the background which you don't need to when playing the game but make sure to only end programs from running which you know won't break your operating system here am i explaining nvidia image scaling when navigating to your geoforce settings make sure to disable in game overlay in your general settings tab as application overlay often cause performance issue below you have the option to enable the image scaling option for some use this option is not available as a graphic driver is not up to date enabling nvidia image scaling can dramatically increase your frame rate for any game you play on your pc here i'll explain windows game mode after making sure that your gpu driver is up to date open up your system settings window here navigate to the gaming session under game mode you have the option enable or disable game mode on your pc In theory, game mode should prevent Windows update from performing driver installation and sending restart notification, as well help achieve a more stable from the rate while in game. Some users have reported that disabling this option has drastically increased their gaming performance on Windows 11 or 10. Windows graphic settings. In your related settings, select graphics. Click on browser to change some custom graphic settings for Elden Ring. In your File Explorer navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on the file path of the stream version is program files select steam then steam apps then common then elden ring then game and here select elden ring this will add elden ring to this list when selecting options from the elden ring make sure to set the graphics performance to high performance which is most cases will take advantage of your graphics processors to help run the game on your system Here I'll explain Windows update. Keep your settings window open and search for update. Go and get your Windows update settings. Make sure to check recent updates. And in case there is an update available to you, make sure to download it before restarting your PC, which will install the update for you.